Hi. So for this problem, in my opinion, I think it's pretty controversial because uh, after numerous attempts of trying to find the right answer, I looked on the answer key and what they did was they, um, I'm going to just tell you as I go on. But yeah, so John made a deposit of a thousand into a fund. So a fund is a future value conference, right? So we're going to set it as a at the beginning of each year, right? For 20 years. And then um, at the end of 20 years, you begin making some annual withdrawals of 3000 at the beginning of each six months with a smaller final withdrawal to blah, blah, blah. The fund earned an annual effective interest rate of 8.15%. So we know that the amount of this fund is this equation. And they said that they were withdrawing 3000 at the beginning of each six months, and there's a final withdrawal to exhaust the fund. So this type of terminology is leaning towards the uh, balloon payment slash uh, drop payment concept. So what we're going to do first is that we're going to calculate this amount of fund, right? So I'm going to convert this to an immediate by multiplying it by 1.0816, the effective. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do, I'm going to get 1,000 times uh, 1.0816 and I'm going to get 1081.6 as the payment. So I'm going to take that amount, I'm going to do 1081.6 as the payment, 20 as the number of years, 8.16 as the interest rate zero as the present value we're going to compute the future value it's going to be 50 382.16 now we're going to set this equal to um at the end of 20 years he makes semi-annual withdrawals of 3000 so this is going to be the regular balloon slash drop payment formula so it's going to be 3000 at the beginning of six months, right? We're going to make this an annuity due. Uh, it's occurring every six months, so it's going to be a semi-annual thing. So I'm going to take the effective interest rate, I'm going to divide it by two, and I'm going to get 4.08%. Now, the controversial thing about this problem is that in the answer key, they kind of leave out eight, and they just use 4% as the effective rate. So that is why it was really hard for me to get the answer towards the end. And yeah, like I I don't know why they left out the eight. I used 4.08% all throughout, but hopefully a problem like this won't happen on the test. But yeah, I'm just gonna do what the answer key says because that's how I'm gonna end up getting an answer. But I originally always used 4.08. So if you have any contact with the SOA, let them know. But anyway, fine. We're gonna we're gonna take 4.08 and ignore the eight for some reason. I don't know. That's what the answer key did. So I'm gonna put four point four four percent here. Um, and and right. So again, with the balloon payment drop payment concept, we always want to set the fund equal to how much we're withdrawing with a given unknown n because usually the number of years will have decimal placements and that is what represents a smaller final withdrawal, right? So I'm going to convert this to an immediate again. I'm going to do 3000 times 1.04. And I'm going to get 3120, right? And 3120 as the payment, 4% uh, as the number of uh, 3120 as the payment, 4% as interest rate, 0 as a future value. Um,
53.82.16 is the present value. Let's compute the number of years. So the number of years is going to be 26.47. Right. Now, once we get this amount, we are going to uh, notice that this part of the decimal consists of the smaller final withdrawal. So we're going to rewrite the equation to find out how much of that smaller withdrawal is. So we're going to do 3,000. At four percent now. Now, why is not four point zero eight percent? Uh, twenty six whole number plus payment last smaller payment of twenty six. Okay, so let's solve again. So I we're gonna convert this to an immediate. I'm gonna get three one twenty as the payment. 4% so The present value is going to be 49866.4. So then bring this other sign, I'm going to get 5382.16 minus 49866.24. We have 515.92. Now I'm going to multiply it by. 1.04, I don't know why it's not 1.048, to the 26. And I'm going to end up getting 1430.37 as the answer. Again, I don't know why this is not included in the answer key. 